Hi, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, this card was case from Pinterest and it was put on there by Stamping Smiles. I actually remembered to look. So I am going to make this. I've already done the big flower. I've changed that. Um, these flowers because that's made with using the stamp set floral essence and that was made with that one which I cut out because I don't have the punch twice but this time I'm going to use this one which I've already stamped and cut out and coloured it in um, Highland Heather and Purple Posy I've already stamped and cut out that one which is in Blushing Bride and we're going to stamp and cut out this one uh, we're going to stamp that in Calypso Coral no not Calypso Coral Coastal Cabana so we're going to do that and we're also going to punch out two leaves and stamp this image which I never got out so let me just get them out block place them on so to get started you'll need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth and folded in half a piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside we're not stamping on that a piece of basic black at three and a quarter by five inches and then a piece of white at three and one eighth by four and seven eighths which will just sit and leave us a nice wide border all the way around so to get started we don't need that I don't need that I need some scrap I do need that for the sentiment for the scrap we're going to stamp our flower and coastal cabana and just stamp that there And we're going to, oh, I've got a little spot there, doesn't matter. We're going to do the middles in cross curry. I've got all three middles to do, so I didn't do any middles on my stamp. So this one belongs on this one. They're all different shapes, the middles. This one belongs on this one. And then the round one for this one. And then we've got the sentiment to do. Which I want to put um, about in the middle. That's just down from the middle. all right and then we have the leaves to do so I'm going to do them in old olive and we only need two so it's 
stamp out two leaves and we'll punch them out. these leaves first using this leaf punch this leaf punch was part of a bundle um, painted harvest bundle and it's nice that they've brought out another image you can use it for instead of retiring it after one go. Right, uh, with my scissors I am going to cut out this flower even a nice little border all the way around long at all in the bin that will keep for another time get rid of that right let's stick this card together another quick easy card only because I've prepared obviously when you've got to stamp and cut out the other flowers will take you a little bit longer This has got a nice border on all four sides. And might as well stick the bit in the middle. This would be good for a retirement card. Go and buy that sentiment or even a wedding card wishing you a blissful future <clears throat> right now our flowers we're going to have our blushing bride one there our coastal cabana one there and this one will be up on um, dimensionals but we've got these to stamp so I want to stick these two down first so stick that one down and stick that one down and then with old olive And this funny leaf stamp. We're going to stamp one there and one. Let's get a bit of paper. Protect our flower. Wrong one. Protect that one. And we're going to stamp that one there. And then this. We'll sit there. 
But what we do have to do is get our old olive pen and just colour these in. And then when that sits down like that, you'll be able to see them. But we need some dimensionals on there. And we've got to put one, two, three. to do it. That's it. And then we just got these two leaves to stick on. And we have one going in under here. so that I could get that right in. That's it. And add some more glue there. All we have to do now is add some gems. I have got some black ones here. And I did a big one. And a small one. A medium one. And a medium one and a small one. I hope you like it. <coughs> um, if you do, give us a thumbs up. Hang on, let me put this away. There you are. Yeah, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you um, press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.